Yo, what's good, y'all? So in today's video, what I'm gonna try to do is help some of you guys that are like inexperienced last longer to the final circle, as well as like teach you where to drop at if you're not that good. This video will focus mainly on map rotation, so hopefully this helps. But later on in the week, I'm gonna make videos that that'll teach you guys like how to be a better Call of Duty player, or Black Ops player. All right, so starting off, most of the people will be in this mid area and back this way. So I'm gonna land like somewhere like this, like a random spot like that, that. You know, just spots that people don't usually go to. But also you gotta make sure that there's a decent amount of houses there, or like locations to loot from. And then while you're dropping in, you should be looking around to see if anybody's laying with you. Yeah, we got one guy here. Alright, so while you're here, you should be looking for a vest. Well, first off, you should be looking for a gun. And then you need a vest. Because almost always, you're not winning a gunfight gun with a vest. So I'm gonna try to play like like an inexperienced player, so I don't know. We'll see what Alright, so I got Brawler on. I think he's in here. If I have Brawler on, I should just be able to push him, right? I feel like anybody should be able to do this. I do that. All right, now he's got a free vest. What? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I feel like anybody should be able to do that. Like I got, I was unlucky at the drop with no vest, but then, you know, I used my perks around me and my surroundings to. To make the most of it. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Hopefully that makes sense. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay in my spawn and look for like more, like better loot. This is not usually how I play. I'm just doing this because I messed up on my last tip video. Like I was, I was contradicting myself a lot. All right, so since there was no so right now we need an AR, obviously. I, I can't play with two SMGs. And then another thing I'm looking for is like trauma kits, sensor darts, or grapples. Like the main, the main things anybody goes for. So once again, I'm still looking around, checking my surroundings. Like that's obvious, everybody should be doing that. But a lot of people don't, they just run blindly. Like him, I'm gonna just I'm gonna let him go by. Yeah, see, I would have killed him if I wasn't playing like this. All right, some fights you just can't avoid like this. Let's get a pop. I got stuck. All right, so with him, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him go by. I'm not even gonna play aggressive with him. All right, see, so we got level two out of this. It's not bad, but we still need an AR. Yeah, so we still need an AR. I'm not gonna get caught running out into a field with the with just two SMGs. So I'm gonna take this and go to like another random spot. Like maybe gas station down here.
Yeah, like this should be empty. I don't see anything broken or any doors open. So before I do move, I'm listening to see if anybody's here. Because you never know if they're, like, crouch walking or anything. Alright, yeah, so we're good. I think I seen an AR right here. Yep. And we got a sensor dart. Alright, so we're pretty good right now. Since we still have a lot of time with the circle, I'm going to just sit around here for a little bit, keep looting. And then, just go from there, pretty much. So I feel like if you're inexperienced, you should try to avoid as many gunfights as possible. But I don't recommend camping and just sitting in a corner or just sitting somewhere like this. Like, that's not going to help you at all. But as always, like whenever you're going to a building, you gotta check corners. And kind of like do this. If you guys see me doing this little hop jump a lot, I do it for a reason. Like it temporarily, like you can keep moving, but it stops your footstep noise. Because you're in the air. You get me? So you're moving, but they can't hear you as much until you touch the ground again. So that's why I do that a lot. Alright, so I'm gonna grab this outlaw. So yeah, but it's not usually how I play, obviously. By now, I would have died or had about 15 kills by now. Like, this is not my play style, but if you're new, then this is exactly how you should be playing. Until you get better at the game. Like, the point is to get better, not to just try to survive until the end and still be ass. So if you're not good at the game, you should try to find as much loot to make you better. That'll improve your, your gameplay. I'm just getting prepared for like final circle. Like this is just to help you survive until, until end game pretty much. Regardless of if you win or lose, it's just to help you get to the end. And my other videos will teach you like what perks I look for, what equipment, what guns. And just things like that to help out your gameplay. Alright. You always want to make sure you have your grapples equipped too, if you have them. Because you never know if there's somebody like in this building, so you can either grapple up top or just grapple away. Damn, that looked good. Usually I wouldn't say run across the street, but I feel like this is pretty, this is pretty chill back here. Oh, it's not, okay. This choke system out, so I'm gonna get a frag grenade. So like right now I can push him. But like I said, like if you're not that good now, I, mean, I don't know, bro, I can't play, I can't dumb down my skill level so I have to do stuff like this like what I'm used to so if you were down there I mean you could have still threw down the trophy system and then wrap back around that went to that building and then just kept going to be honest like you didn't have to fight him like what I'm about to do but if you chose to fight him then this would be the right move get up top let him make the, move, the first move honestly I have dead silence I can use that and rush him but I don't want to waste it on this dude. He didn't even heal up yet. What the hell is he doing? Yeah, you know, I'm going to just get him out the way. Alright, so like I said, like you could have avoided that gunfight and went all the way around here and got right into the circle. Like you would have had a good position by now. And I can waste that because I'm not going to need it. Like I'm back here, I doubt anybody's back here with me.
You know, I have sensor darts to burn, so I'm gonna use. Oh, no. Hey, you guys gotta watch out for dudes on cars, too. They usually have sensor darts on them. So, yeah, we can post up here. I have a sensor dart, so I know where people are coming from. But I would, I would recommend killing this dude. And then now we can just go sit up here. Like this is end game. Like this is you can. I would say it's okay to camp like this. But I think I'm pretty safe to loot this body. I didn't loot him at first just because there was too much going on around me. So yeah, man, just chill out here until the next circle and then make our move. All right, and also with circles like this, you gotta be careful for the edge. Cause people like to crouch walk, so that's why I ran back up here. Once circle closes, we're gonna figure out how we're gonna get to the next spot. Like, you can't really predict where the circle's gonna go. I'm guessing it's gonna be over here, though. On my orange marker. Cause like I said, it's battle royale. Like, Things are, are bound to change. They, they never go how you want it to. All right, so from here, I'm thinking I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna try to get control of this house or this one. If I can't get that, then I'm gonna just sit back in this area. So let's see how I do that. I mean, I have two sensor darts. I'm gonna try not to use them just because I'm not, like you're not guaranteed to have one. So what I would do is check the outside of the circle, obviously. I say keep jump, like doing this jump walk that I'm doing. Just make sure this is all clear behind you. And then just ride the circle in. You know, take cover, take your time. Because you're not really in a rush, this is going slow. And once we do get in the circle, we have cover. So we're not really in a rush like that. Oh, he's actually seen me. All right, let's get in the circle now. Oh, he actually tagged me. I didn't know he could hit me from right here. So I'm watching out for this house right here, and then it sounds like he's pushing me. Yeah, so since he's pushing, let's get on top of this. And then there's somebody in here. Alright. So first things first, let's take care of this dude in here. I'm assuming he's in the attic. This dude is fucking lame. Fuck you. Why fuck you? <clears throat> See, like I said, like it's battle royale. I wasn't expecting him to be so quiet. Is that game? Oh my wow. god. Wow. That is? That is that the real Sean? That the real Sean? Let me see. Oh, yeah, bro. It's me. <laughs> GG, dude. Good game, bro. Bro, that's the real Sean, bro. What's up, man? I already <laughs> knew he was going to win, bro. I actually you know, I to put on my damn beer. I took it two hours for my beer to come out. And you... Sorry for cussing you out, man, but I was like, man, that's bullshit. <laughs> my character should have came out faster than that, man. A good game, bro. Uh, GG, Yeah, GG, man. So I hope this video helps. Like, this is just based on map rotation and, like, just surviving until end game and how to avoid gunfights, how to rotate. So this is like the first part of my tip videos. I'm gonna make more. I'm gonna cover like a few more topics to help you guys play better, so. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get this video edited and uploaded for tomorrow before work, so.
I'm gonna catch y'all later.